Morning Thailand supported by C Thai Superwear. Wings Learning Circle, customized English course for your business. And welcome back to the program. You're watching Morning Thailand with Tulip and Golf. And of course, this session, we promised something a lot lighter mm -hmm. than what we have previously reported. Mm -hmm. um, various interesting, uh, I guess, festivals and traveling spots mm. to be reported. At this point, um, if you are a big fan of mackerel um, or here, Blatu in Thai, um, <laughs> you will enjoy this particular event. It's actually mm. quite um, famous in Samut Sakhon, especially in the uh, Tha Chong Lom mm -hmm. uh, district. They say that at this point, they are going to have the fifth uh, delicious mackerel festival that will take place on November the 21st, running till December the 2nd, as you can see here in the picture. And of course, mackerel is actually quite abundant um, in the Samusakon area. And they, they said that um, Tha Chong Lom Women's Power Group um, will cook a lot of dishes using mackerel or pratu, which is um, freshly cached from the Gulf of Thailand. And they say that um, you can visit the area, especially in the Chonglom Temple, where uh, the Tajin River actually runs through. They say that in this particular festival, um, you will see a variety of dishes that will be made using mackerel. Um, sometimes you can have it with um, boiled rice, or in sometimes uh, the papaya salad, you might. I mean, this is one of the dish. I don't think I ever have mackerel in papaya salad before, but it will be interesting. Um, they say that they made it into bread or even Chinese buns with mackerel as well. Um, you can have the um, just normal regular fried mackerel seasoned with fish sauce. Now the festival will also feature a lot of exhibition on mackerel and the sale of fresh as well as processed seafood. Um, so varieties, various kind. Um, the old top products will be there as well. So the one tambon, one products goods will be available for you. Now they say that if you enjoy or you would like to take a tour of the place, there's also a tricycle ride um, to tour the town of Tha Chong Lom as well to just um, witness a little bit of what the lifestyle of local people is like, as well as getting a chance to visit various temples in the area. And they say that into this particular event, um, they will actually have um, a lot of uh, interesting activities as well for you to visit. So overall, they are um, offering you a chance to eat fresh, freshly mm -hmm. made uh, mackerel. And that's from November the 21st to December the 2nd in the Tha Chong Lom district, mm. um, uh, Tha Chong Lom sub-district of Mueang district in Samut Sakhon province. So if you get a chance in the area, there's actually a lot of good food. And if you enjoy, you know, munching around as you walk by on a street <laughs> vendors, I highly recommended it. Mm -hmm. Something nice and fun to do over the weekends. This actually made me hungry, that pictures of that mackerel. Right. To the next news, um, nothing about food. Mm -hmm. but a lot of people think it might relate it, but uh, I already uh, tried to find information whether this is the kind that you can eat, but it's actually not. We are talking about <laughs> okay. thousands of jellyfish that has swimming around in Trat Sea in the uh, eastern coastal part of Thailand. This actually first reported last year at Ban Mai Rood in Klong Yai district of Trat province on Ratchakarun beach. Um, this year, they're coming back with more variety of color and much more number of the jellyfish than last year. Reportedly, thousands of them swimming around during the daytime um, to feed on plankton because it's at the end of rainy season and it's beginning of the winter season. And this actually, um, the fisherman in the area took this opportunity uh, to make it a tourist spot. Mm. Um, Actually, they have four colors, but I'm not sure why the, we couldn't really get much color out of the video footage. But it's like bright 
uh, blue color, some brown, some white mix all together. There it is. They can just scoop it up. Um, because of the fishermen in the area, they cannot proceed with their uh, normal fishing activity because this jellyfish would get in the way mm -hmm. when they try to use the net and such. And this is not the kai you can eat. So they just took this opportunity to make it a tourism uh, business okay. instead. So for the time being... Why do, do, they, why do they have to, to scoop them? Just to show the color, I believe, and just <laughs> let them back okay. in the water. Um, there's so many of them. Okay. And it's not a good idea to swim around because even though it's not the highly poisonous kind, but it's to give your skin irritation anyway. Yeah, it, it, if that very many, then I'm pretty sure yes. that it could actually it, be it doesn't, quite deadly. Yeah, it's not the kind that burn you, but it's the kind that give you severely itchiness. Mm -hmm. um, there the, you go. Yes, that's a really nice color. I, I would say that's really pretty. I thought it was plastic bags. <laughs> Beside Thailand, I think it's only in Palau, in Pacific Ocean, oh. that, that reportedly have this kind of, uh, uh, extra, uh, this kind of uh, experience offering mm -hmm. to the tourists. But in Palau, it's, there is no poison, so you can actually swim with the jellyfish. Ooh. But in Thailand, it's the poisonous one mixed with the one that not poison and but all of them are not edible mm -hmm. but uh, the local people do offer a boat ride for a hundred baht per person per trip and it took about only fifth, uh, 10 to 15 minutes Man, to go scary. around the area it's uh, yes if you actually fall into the water but <laughs> the, for the sightseeing I would say it's really really interesting mm -hmm. So 10 to 15 minutes, only 100 baht if you have a chance to, you know, go in Thra province over the weekend or happen to be around the area Rajakarun Beach in mm -hmm. Ban Mai Root sub-district. Very interesting. All right. But it's not that far either. You can like yes. actually easily get on a tour bus and get there. Four or five hours to mm -hmm. ride. Okay, and that's all the time we have and that's all the news we have for you today as of the November 5th, 2013. We would like to thank everyone that uh, tuning in mm -hmm. and you can watch our episode playback on youtube.com slash morningthailand and also facebook.com slash morningthailand and you can email us at morningthailandshow at gmail.com mm -hmm. And thank you Jasper for this lovely top today as well as Thai Superwear Quality The World Trust, Wings Learning Circle, Customized English course for your business and don't forget to see us again tomorrow 6 a.m on mcod world i am tulip naxon i'm one of sankar home